We wrap up our program now at the corner of Cedar and South Taylor here in the heart of Cleveland Heights, where we find the nation's best delivery butcher shop. Come on in, let's check it out. We sell the finest in beef, veal, lamb, pork, and poultry uh, in the country, not just in the city. Uh, everything is hand selected by us, everything is hand cut by us, it's inspected by us, if it doesn't meet our standards, the customer is not going to get it. Because, like for meat, we're USDA prime for beef, veal, and lamb, uh, it's substantially more. And you pay for quality, and that's basically what it is. The chicken is uh, probably the finest chicken in the country. It comes from uh, a friend that I've been dealing with for 33 years. Um, he's now uh, in Pennsylvania. They started out in New York. Um, and it's select poultry. It's tremendous stuff. Uh, if you want duck, we have fresh ducks. But that's, that's where we stand with our product line. Whether you're preparing for a backyard barbecue or entertaining potential business clients, Mr. Brisket can take care of all your nutrient needs. Let's take a sneak peek now into what goes on behind the doors of your local butcher shop and see firsthand how some of your favorite meals are prepared. First thing I want to do is take a veal rib roast, which is this piece of meat right here. We're going to break it down into long bone chops. A Mark Cohen of Associated Steel is sending this to a client of his in Liberal, Kansas. So the first thing we do is I've already taken the liberty of Frenching these bones so that this will be the long bone style people seem to prefer, okay? And by Frenching them, uh, we, we, we just essentially create a presentation that people seem to like a lot in restaurants um, or as well for sending gifts, which is what Mr. Cohen is doing. And all I'm gonna do is cut right along the eye of the meat right here. We're gonna lift up what's called this deckle and we are just going to essentially trim away this piece of meat. Now this here actually is wonderful for making ground veal, making sausage. So I can, I'll use this later to make some of our terrific Thai sausage that people seem to like. Now what you have here is the eye of the veal, the veal rib roast. All you want to do at this point on is cut it into chops that will give you that long bone affectation that people enjoy so much. Now you've got a long bone veal chop. And what I would continue to do is cut the rest of these chops. Then what I'm gonna do is wrap them up tightly in cellophane and paper. These have to be in Kansas by tomorrow afternoon. So we're gonna get this all wrapped up. And once we have these chops wrapped up, I'm gonna take them and place them in this box that I have over there. It's a styrofoam box and it's designed for short meat shipments. I would place the wrap meat in here with a chilling element. Then all I do is seal it up tight. I call my friends at FedEx. It's out the door. It's in Kansas tomorrow. If you thought that looked easy enough, just wait till you see how easy it is to place an order. It's literally just a mouse click away. The, the Mr. Brisket website, it tries to capture the, the spirit of the business. It's informative. You can go there, find out about the products that we sell, you know, see some pictures, you know, you can find out that, you know, that we ship meat, find out what we have on our deli menu, find out what specials we have going on on week that week, get some current pricing. But you can also read some funny anecdotes that have taken place within the business in our What's News section. And you can read articles, original articles we've written about various things. Uh, I've got some interesting stuff up about Thanksgiving at the moment. Beginning over 30 years ago, with only his vehicle and a few neighborhood maps, Sanford Herskovitz began delivering meat and poultry to friends and family. Today, Mr. Brisket has expanded to a coast-to-coast -coast operation, delivering to some very prestigious clients, including state governors and Supreme Court justices. If you Mr. Brisket has always been about quality. When my stepdad started this business in the mid-1970s, there was no one in Cleveland purveying USDA prime beef and really high quality pork and poultry. And he was dedicated to doing that job. He loves food, He's, he is the epitome of a foodie, even though he would hate to be called that. Um, you know, he, is, he and my mom have traveled all over the world and eaten everywhere, so they're very experienced. 
in, in terms of, of uh, their knowledge of product. What Mr. Brisket is all about is selling the best. We have USDA prime rib steaks behind us. I've got gorgeous free-range poultry right here. I've got a veal rack right there with, with a beautiful eye and plenty of marbling. Um, our interest is in selling the best products available. That's our niche. And not only can you get the highest quality meat, seafood, and chicken delivered straight to your door, check out their walk-in deli. We just started this. My partner in crime said, well, you know, we saw people uh, ordering corned beef sandwiches and there was no corned beef place around here. So here we are. And distinctively, our, our corned beef is not boiled like everybody else's. We bake it. It's not as salty, it's much more flavorful, and it has uh, a tremendous taste. This is our front cooler. We store most of our deli products in here. Everything that we bake ourselves. What I've got here is a corned beef. This was this was baked yesterday. It's got nice marbling. This is a little smaller than they usually are. What we're going to do now is we're going to take this, we're going to put it in our steamer, and get it ready for sandwiches about an hour, hour and a half. It takes about that long to get it from being cool to getting it to a nice hot temperature where it's going to be succulent and juicy and absolutely fabulous tasting. Friendly, courteous staff and amazing sandwiches. Speaking of sandwiches, let's take a look at how they prepare one of their signature ones, the Charles Bar. What we're making here is called the Charles Bar in uh, honor of the late Cleveland Orchestra bassist. We used to hang out here all the time and talk to us and eat love good food. This is half pastrami, it's half corned beef. This is amazing stuff. Yeah, this is pastrami. It's comes from the plate, whereas corned beef comes from a brisket. So consequently, it has a little more rich flavor, and it's baked with peppercorns. So it's a little more uh, spicy, a little more intense, and just this is the this is fabulous stuff, man. Okay. The top. Now, the corned beef goes on top. Nice, lean looking corned beef with plenty of marbling so it'll be juicy and flavorful. You got your pastrami, you got your corned beef so all your food groups are represented. Slice, wrap. That's it. Cool. You're ready to eat. Stay at a good kosher dill. Want to learn more? Head to MrBrisket.com for a list of specials, recipes, and a complete list of offerings right here at this amazing place.